everyone. In this video, we are going to have a look at few questions of lesson, the last lesson written by Alfonso Dode. Before we move on to the lesson's question answers, we are going to have a look at the story in brief. So a quick recap. The time period mentioned in the story is Franco-Prussian War. The region of Alsace and Lorraine are defeated and conquered by Germans. The order from Berlin comes to teach only German language. The situation is seen through the eyes of the young school going boy, Franz. French teachers are asked to leave and in our story, M. Himmel is a French teacher who has taught the school for past 40 years. Franz is late for school. When he reaches the school, he finds the school silent like Sunday. Villagers are seated at the back benches and M. Hamel is dressed differently. He is not scolded by his teacher for coming late or for not doing his homework. Everyone is emotional. For a change, M. Hamel is kind and patient in explaining the lessons. We find changes in friends as well. He is attentive in the class regrets not being serious about studies and starts respecting the teacher. M. Himmel describes French language as the most clear, logical and beautiful language. He blames the residents, including himself, for not being serious about studies and being in the habit of postponing things. He asks everyone to keep the language alive because it will prove to be the key to their prison. At noon, when the clock strikes 12, it is the time for him to leave. He is unable to speak as he gets very emotional. So he just writes on blackboard, Vive la France, and with the hand movement disperses everyone. Now, before we move on to a few extra questions, here we are going to have a look at few NCRT questions along with their answers. What was friends expected to be prepared with for school that day? He was expected to memorize the rules of participle. Next question, what did friends notice that was unusual about the school that day? Usually there would be a lot of commotion, noise with the movement of desks, rapping of teachers, ruler on the table and lessons being recited in unison. But that day the school was very silent like Sunday morning. All were seated and his teacher M. Hamel was walking with his ruler under his arm. Next question. What had been put up on the bulletin board? The bulletin board in the town hall usually informed the people about different news. And on that particular day, informed the people about the order from Berlin, which mentioned that from the next day, only German language will be taught and French teacher will have to leave. What changes did the order from Berlin cause in the school that day? Everyone, including teacher, villagers and students, they were very sad. They all regretted for never being serious about the studies. Everyone was very sincere and attentive and wanted to learn the maximum on that day. Now, this is a long question from the textbook. What changes did the order from Berlin cause in school that day? Now here learners, you will have to remember one thing. The answer is just one expression of imparting the important value points that it has. It is not necessary to memorize the answer as it is. You may use the important information and may express those points in your own words. I'm reading out 
the answer as expressed here. Order from Berlin had come to discontinue teaching of French language and start teaching German language from the next day as France had lost the war. This brought the life to standstill. The news had made everyone very sad. M. Hemel had to leave next day. This being his last French lesson, he wanted to impart the maximum knowledge to all the learners. Villagers who were present during the last lesson to express gratitude to him for his 40 years of service felt bad for the teacher and themselves. They regretted postponing things and never being serious about the studies. Everyone became sincere and attentive and wanted to learn the maximum that day. Our narrator Franz felt guilty and realized the huge loss they all were going to have. The teacher M. Himmel very kindly and patiently made everyone understand the value of time and the importance of their language. He also requested them to keep the language alive. Next long question we have, how did Franz's feeling about M. Hamel and school change. If you do remember earlier, this boy, he never was interested in going to school on time. He was more tempted to spend time outside. But today, after getting the news, he was changed. So how he was changed, that we have to tell in this answer. After coming to know that French teaching would be discontinued, as per the order from Berlin, Franz was shocked. He realized that he didn't know much about his language as he had never been serious about learning. He forgot his teacher's ruler and crankiness. He developed a fondness and respect for M. Himmel. The idea of being separated from him forever troubled him. He understood the pain and agony his teacher was undergoing and became more sympathetic towards his teacher. And his school also now carried a different meaning. The books which he used to consider as a burden suddenly became his old friends. He never wanted to be separated from them. The school which he would delay in attending, he couldn't give up now. He regretted not being attentive in his classes earlier. He realized that with careful listening and being attentive in the class, even the difficult concepts turned easy and could be easily understood. So these are the few changes that he felt in himself about the school as well as his teacher. All the major points, key phrases you can remember and later on express in your words. The people in this story suddenly realize how precious their language is to them. What shows you this? Why does this happen? If you have a look, the answer to this question is written in two paragraphs. The purpose is because the two questions have been asked. First question being, what shows you this? So we have written the answer to this in the first paragraph. The second part of the question, why does this happen? has been expressed in part two, that is para two. So the answer is like this. There are many instances mentioned in the lesson that reflect people's realization. The crowd surrounding the bulletin board, back benches being occupied by the villagers, special dress worn by M. Himmel, the school as silent as Sunday morning, sadness in the atmosphere, emotional change in France for the school and his teacher, his teacher M. Hamel in solemn and pensive mood, and M. Hamel talking about the qualities of the French language and need to keep it alive are the indicators that refer to the realization of the importance of their language to them. Now, this realization, why does this happen? 
this happens only after the order from berlin about the discontinuation of teaching learning of french had come the true worth of a thing is realized only when it is taken away and is no longer with the people the same happened with the people of alsace and lorraine when their french language was taken away from them now this very question from the textbook france thinks will they make them sing in german even the pigeons what could this mean now this very has different aspects different approach to this statement can be taken that's why i have just provided few of the examples whichever way you feel more comfortable you can go ahead with that and try to express your own opinion like one we are referring to as people they are considering their languages unique to their culture and identity so no one can conquer the nature of that area that's why they are questioning the germans ability the second one is referring to the linguistic chauvinism where the germans they are trying to impose their language on french people without realizing that the spirit of france lies in the heart of people and the natural things so it cannot be changed the basic communication will remain the french even if the other language has been imposed and the third one can be considered as that the people they hate germans so their hatred against the germans is expressed in this very idea that will the germans force even the birds and animals to make sound in german that's why we are talking about they are referring to their atrocities being imposed on french people now apart from this our textbook has few vocabulary related questions like they have given that in the sentence what a thunder clap these words were to me so what does word thunder clap mean it is not the loud and clear sound like a thunder rather the minute thunder is there we immediately get startled many a times we are doing our work quietly and the minute thunder sound is there we jump so reliving that very they have given thunder clap here refers to startling and unexpected next one when a people are enslaved as long as they hold fast to their language it is as if they have the key to their prison now holding fast is not holding tightly in your hands we are talking about holding your language your true spirit your uh, nationality your patriotism alive in your hearts so the meaning of hold fast refers to as are attached to their language next one don't go fast you will get to your school in plenty of time if you remember this was the statement made by the blacksmith when franz is going to school he is not saying that he is very early or he is very late he says that you are early enough the class won't start and today definitely being the last lesson i never saw him look so tall toward the end of the lesson franz mentioned this for am himmel so when he says look so tall it is not that the teacher suddenly had grown taller suddenly he was very confident that he is going to impart something very valuable important to his people so seemed very confident now after the textbook questions we are going to move on to few extra questions i hope these very questions they are going to cover most of the lesson all important areas will be covered but in this very section in extra questions 
I have tried to provide all three types of questions, reference to context, as from uh, session 2019-2020, CBSC had introduced reference to context from prose section also. But the answers are not complete statements. I have provided the value points as an answer. Sentences can be framed by you. Have a look at the first one. Context is, for a moment, I thought of running away and spending the day out of doors. It was so warm, so bright. The birds were chirping at the edge of the woods and in the open field back of the sawmill, the Prussian soldiers were drilling. It was all much more tempting. If you do remember, these are the opening lines of our lesson. So who is I? Narrator. Because in the opening, we don't know his name. His name is revealed later on. So you can either write down the word narrator or you can write down his name, Franz, as well. Why did he think of running away? Because he was already late for school and on the top, the things outside were more tempting. He enjoyed being outside. What was he supposed to be prepared with? That is learning rules of participles because he hadn't done his work. What did he want to do? Running out and spending day out. What did he observe around him that were like temptations to him? Watching birds and soldiers drilling. Next reference to context is, when I passed the town hall, there was a crowd in front of the bulletin board. For the last two years, all our bad news had come from there. So what kind of bad news? Lost battles, drafts, orders of the commanding officer. I here remains our narrator. Did he stop to read the latest news? No. Whom did he meet there? Blacksmith with his apprentice. What did the person tell him? No need to hurry, plenty of time to read school. Was there a different news on that day? Yes. And what was it? Order from Berlin, that German to be taught from next day. Next reference to context is, besides the whole school seemed so strange and solemn, but the thing that surprised me most was to see on the back benches that were always empty, the village people sitting quietly. So what is most surprising? Back benches occupied by villagers. Who was seated? We have to mention few of the names. So village, sorry, it has been written villagers. It is villagers, elders like Old Hauser, former mayor, former postmaster and several others. What were the other things that surprised him? That was school being silent, everyone sad, and M. Himmel dressed in special days clothes. Why was the school or the people there solemn and quiet? They all were feeling sad because of the order. It was the last French lesson. M. Himmel was to leave and German to be taught. What a thunderclap these words were to me. Now, based on this very line, we have few questions. Whose words? M. Himmel's announcement. And to whom they were thunderclap? Franz, the narrator. Which words? We have to define complete that that day was the last lesson of French. Order had come from Berlin, German to be taught from next day. And why were the words a thunderclap to him? Because he was surprised he didn't read the news and he was shocked to receive such a news. Did his reaction bring any change in him? Yes. What? His opinion towards the learning as well as the school changed. We must guard it among us and never forget it because when a people are enslaved, as long as they hold fast to their language, it is as if they had the key to their prison. Who is the speaker? Their French teacher, M. Himmel. And to whom does he speak? To the complete class in which the students as well as the villagers were seated. And what should be guarded and not forgotten? 
is talking about their native language that is French. So which language? French. Mention few qualities. He mentioned it was the most beautiful, the most clear and logical language. And why is language important? For identity as well as nation's freedom. Which prison is being referred to? The prison of enslavement because Germans have conquered France. Then he turned to the blackbird, took a piece of chalk and bearing on with all his might, he wrote as large as he could. So who turned? It is their French teacher M. Himmel. What did he write on the board? Vive la France and explain bearing on with all his might. He's trying to bring courage back to himself, controlling his emotions, wrote. But why did he write? In large letters, last words to be felt and remembered by all people that they need to keep the French language alive and gain freedom. Now, apart from these few reference to context questions, we have now few short answer type questions. Short answer type questions means the word limit is 30 to 40 words. With the paper pattern change, now they are of two marks each. Again, I have just given the value points. Why was Franz in great dread of being scolded that day? Because one, he was late. Two, he hadn't learned the rules of participles. What usually happened in Franz's class when school began? A lot of commotion, noise will be there, desk being opened, closed, students reciting their lessons and teacher wrapping the ruler on the table. What announcement was made by M. Himmel at the start of the lesson? He talked about the order from Berlin and that day being the last French lesson. What did M. Himmel say about the importance of language to enslave the people? He talked about the beauty of the French language, its clarity, its logic, and asked them to keep it alive because the language will prove to be a key to their freedom. What were his final words and why he wrote them? Vive la France. And why he wrote? Because he was very emotional at that time. He couldn't speak. And at the same time, he wrote it in large letters so that people are going to remember it. How does telling the story from the young Francis point of view affect the reader's reaction to the story? One, when we are seeing the story from child's point of view, it is very vivid, interesting and honest. Wherever he gets distracted, he does tell it openly. And at the same time, it keeps the suspense and speculation among the readers alive. What were Franz's regrets after M. Hamel's announcement of his last lesson? He realized he didn't know much. So now he starts regretting, missing his school and never being attentive. What was M. Hamel's contribution to the school? For 40 years, he has taught French language to the people. Why villagers were attending the last lesson? One, it was last French le lesson. Two, teacher had to leave because of the order. And three, they wanted to respect and honor him for his long service years. Now, after short questions, we have long answer type questions as well. You have to remember long answer type questions in literature textbook based. The word limit is 120 to 150 words. You have to refer to the lesson in detail and elaborate the idea. So in this, I have given few questions and their value points are mentioned, which you can express in any manner you feel more comfortable. First question being, how does M. Himmel show his pride in his language? Now, we have to remember the order of Berlin had taken away his service of teaching French. But he is proud teacher. He loves teaching French. So 
first change that we see is that he teaches his last lesson with kindness and patience. When Franz had entered in, he was kind to him. He didn't scold him for being late. He was dressed up in his special clothes. So his special clothes we have to remember. Green coat, black silk cap and frilled shirt. He reproaches himself as well as other people, elders of the region, for wasting time and postponing things, especially learning. Then he expresses the pride of being a Frenchman by talking about the qualities of French language. He also defines the importance of language to the people and requests everyone to keep it alive. And when towards the end he becomes really emotional, is not able to speak. He expresses his pride in French language and expects everyone to feel the same pride by writing on board Vive la France. Next question. Everybody during the last lesson is filled with regret. Comment. Now we have to remember during the last lesson, three categories were there. One, student. Two, teacher and three villages. The order from Berlin had mentioned that it is going to be the last French lesson. So how everyone is feeling? Everyone is sad and regretful. We first have a look at the student's point of view. For us, Franz is the spokesperson there. So Franz, he regrets not being attentive in class, not being punctual, tempted to spend more time outside by looking at birds or soldiers or any other thing. Teacher, he had been giving them holidays off whenever he wanted to go on any fishing trip. He would ask the children to go and water the plants. Third, villagers, they had missed the opportunity of learning and kept postponing things. So now the time has gone. They cannot learn the language anymore. And on the top, not only for themselves, they had not taken learning seriously, but they had passed it on to their children as well. Last question. How was M. Hemel a different teacher while giving his last lesson? Now we have to compare his earlier teachings and today. Now, earlier teachings we have not directly come across, but through different references made by France, we can easily make an opinion that what kind of teaching he would have earlier and how it had changed. Let's have a look at his clothes first. So his appearance is going to tell us a difference. On that particular day, he was wearing different kinds of clothes which he would usually wear on special days of inspection or prize. He was very kind and gentle. He didn't scold Franz for reaching late. Usually Franz would be really scared of him. Next, there was no wrapping of ruler on the table. If you remember, he talked about the commotion. With patience, he taught the class. When Franz couldn't uh, recite the participles rules, he was not scolded. Rather, it was explained. Teacher reproached himself as well as others very politely for not being serious about learning and advised everyone to change their priorities. He also expressed his love for language and talked about the beauty of the language. He requested everyone to keep the language alive and it will prove to be the key to their freedom. And on the last day, last moment, he became emotional. Nowhere in the lesson, Franz had given us an idea that he was an emotional person. But that last moment, he became very emotional. He couldn't speak and simply wrote a phrase on the board in large letters. The phrase was, Vive la France. So, through these questions, I hope that you all will be able to understand the chapter in detail. And any kind of question that comes up in exam, you will be able to answer. 
I have one suggestion for you. Read your question carefully. The way question has been asked in the similar manner, try to write down your answer, especially the opening and the closing statements of your answers must be in sync with the question as per the questions framing. That will improve your expression and will get you more marks. Second most important thing is try to express your answer within the word limit. Make sure you do it by practicing regularly and you will score good. All the best for your future learning.